I'm just gonna make another video uh, to cover some more things that I've changed in the software for my tablet install on my Accord. I'm now reliably actually running AutoDroid with the Kangaroo kernel and my audio is mounting every time the tablet starts up and when the tablet goes to sleep it is actually waking properly on my power event from starting the car. I've just started the car uh, <clears throat> and so I'm going to show you what I did to correct some problems. If you are, well, if you ever tried AutoDroid and Kangaroo Kernel, you may have noticed that sometimes when it goes to sleep, the tablet will not come out of sleep unless you hold down the power button. And I have found a way to resolve that. Uh, that's my lock screen. I'm going to enter my pin and I'll show you what I've done. All right. <clears throat> So here, I've just entered the pin and I can actually play some music if I wanted to. So the tablet's just woken up. Now, what I'm done, if you've seen my other video, is I actually stopped using Power Event Manager, uh, the firm sleep option. You can see the only option I'm running is fast charge and host mode. And I will say something here, because my cable is not capable of providing power to USB devices. I'm able to do this just fine. Uh, if your cable is an OEM up or off the shelf cable that has a power wire going from the tablet to your USB devices, trying to do what I'm doing with this is probably gonna cause uh, the tablet to, the screen will go off, but the tablet will probably still provide power to your USB devices and those devices will probably run your tablet's battery flat. Uh, <clears throat> so as you can see I don't have fixed install mode on and I'm not using firm sleep I'm also not using lock USB disk the only thing I'm using is fast charge and host mode and this tablet has whoop I must have hit the power button there okay the tablet's actually been on for quite some time. Show you the battery and it has a 100% charge on it. Battery full. I actually have another application here that I was logging my battery stats with. Let's see if I can find where it's set. Oh, there it is. And you can see the battery. That's actually the temperature. And you can see the percentage is all the way at at a hundred percent and it's showing the rate of charge and that's over the course of four days that it has actually maintained that battery charge this is the temperature of the battery over here the orange line is actually the temp alright so it's working great uh, music works fine and the way I am accomplishing this is in Tasker and I am using two profiles currently I'm using a power any to wake the tablet and not power any for the tablet to go to sleep and under tasks while the tablet is awake these are the settings that I have I'm using secure settings, keep the display on, that's with uh, the system plus options and then I'm taking off airplane mode, enabling GPS, uh, putting my location settings to device only, setting Bluetooth on and then setting the screen bright one second just to wake the screen and then this last one is rather important. I am overclocking the tablet's processor 
from uh, Tasker. I found that the reason the tablet won't wake from sleep is because of the governor. And sometimes on AutoDroid, if you don't overclock it, uh, the tablet runs very slowly. So when the tablet wakes, it sets a minimum frequency of uh, 102,000 and then the maximum frequency of 1.6 gigahertz. So 102 kilohertz minimum and 1.6 gigahertz maximum. And it sets the governor to the performance governor. And that's while it is awake and charging. And then when it goes to sleep, when it loses power, these are the tasks that I'm running. Turning on airplane mode. Well, that's odd. This should be, oh yeah, that's right. Disabling GPS, turning off location mode, turning off Bluetooth, and then I am again changing the frequency on the processor. This time I changed to the on-demand governor set the minimum frequency for 102 kilohertz and the maximum frequency for 910 kilohertz I found that if you leave the tablet overclocked while it sleeps what happens is it locks up I don't know if it's the governor or if it's the overclocking of the tablet but the that is what is causing it to not wake from its sleep deep sleep and with those settings it's been working fine for the last several days I haven't had any issues. Tablet goes to sleep and wakes up. Audio mounts, everything's working. Uh, that's pretty much it. That's all I have for this video. So if you want to run Auto Droid and you were having those problems on KitKat where the tablet won't wake from sleep and you need to hit the power button in order to get it to wake up again, you might want to try using Tasker for your power management. Or you can just try using Tasker to even uh, overclock and underclock your CPU frequency and change the governor and that may that may resolve the problem and you may even be able to use firm sleep. I am no longer using firm sleep. Uh, that's it for this video.